Wheels were also used to make pottery. Pottery was used for cooking as well as the storage of food grains. Large urns were used as coffins for burial of the dead. Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover prehistoric and Harappan culture in India. The history of human settlements in India goes back to prehistoric times. No written records are available for the prehistoric period, but plenty of archaeological remains are found in different parts of India to reconstruct the history of this period. They include stone tools, pottery, artifacts and metal implements. These tools were used by prehistoric people. The development of archaeology helps much to understand the life and culture of the people who lived in this period. In India, the prehistoric period is divided into Paleolithic, that is Old Stone Age, Mesolithic, that is Middle Stone Age, Neolithic, that is New Stone Age. There is one more age or era that is known as Metal Age or Iron Age. But these periods were not uniform throughout the Indian subcontinent. The dating of the prehistoric period is done scientifically. The technique of radiocarbon dating is very much used for this purpose. It is based on measuring the loss of carbon in organic materials over a period of time. Another dating method is known as dendrochronology. Dendrochronology refers to number of tree rings in wood. By counting the number of tree rings in the wood, the date of the wood is arrived at. Let's talk about Paleolithic or Old Stone Age. The Old Stone Age sites are widely found in various parts of the Indian subcontinent. These sites are generally located near water sources. Several rock shelters and caves used by the Paleolithic people are scattered across the subcontinent. They also live rarely in huts made of leaves and some of the famous sites of Old Stone Age includes the Son Valley and the Potwar Plateau on the northwest India, the Shivalik Hills on the north India, Bhim Betka in Madhya Pradesh, Adamgarh Hill in Namda Valley, Kurnool in Andhra Pradesh, and Attiram Pakkam near Chennai. In the Old Stone Age, food was obtained by hunting animals and gathering edible plants and tubers. Therefore, these people are called as hunter gatherers. They used stone tools hand-sized and flaked off large pebbles for hunting animals. Stone implements are made of hard rock known as quasite. Large pebbles are often found in river terraces and the hunting of large animals would have required the combined effort of a group of people with large stone axes. We have little knowledge about the language and communication. Their way of life became modified with the passage of time since they made attempts to domesticate animals made crude pots and grew some plants. A few old stone age paintings have been found on the rocks of Bhim Betka and other such places. The period before 10,000 BC is assigned to the old stone age. Alright, let's talk about Mesolithic or the Middle Stone Age. The next stage of human life is called Mesolithic or the Middle Stone Age, which was roughly from 10,000 BC to 6,000 BC. All right. It was the transitional phase between the Paleolithic age and the Neolithic age. Mesolithic remains are found in Langraj in Gujarat, Adamgarh in Madhya Pradesh and also in some places of Rajasthan, Uttar Pradesh and Bihar. The paintings and engravings found at the rock shelters gives an idea about the social life and economic activities of the Mesolithic people. In the sites of Mesolithic age, a different type of stone tools is found. These are tiny stone artifacts, often not more than 5 cm in size, and therefore they are called microliths. The hunting-gathering pattern of life continued during this period also, but there seems to have been a shift from big animal hunting to small animal hunting and fishing. The use of bow and arrow also began during this period. There began a tendency to settle for longer periods in an area. Therefore, domestication of animals, horticulture, primitive cultivation, all this is started. Animal bones are found in these sites and these include dog, deer, boar, ostrich. Occasionally, burials of the dead along with some microliths and shells 
seems to have been practiced in Middle Stone Age or Mesolithic period. A remarkable progress is noticed in human civilization in Neolithic age. It is approximately dated from 6000 BC to 4000 BC. Neolithic remains are found in various parts of India. These include the Kashmir Valley, Chirand in Bihar, Valen Valley in Uttar Pradesh and several places of the Deccan area. The important Neolithic sites excavated in South India are Maski, Brahmagiri, Hallur, Kuddekal in Karnataka, Payyampali in Tamil Nadu and Utnur in Andhra Pradesh. Chief characteristic feature of the Neolithic culture are the practice of agriculture, domestication of animals, polishing of the stone tools and manufacture of pottery. In fact, the cultivation of plants and domestication of animals led to the emergence of village communities based on sedentary life. There was a great improvement in technology for making tools and other equipments used by the human beings. The stone tools were now polished and the polished Axes were found to be more effective tools for hunting. Wheels were also used to make pottery. Pottery was used for cooking as well as the storage of food grains. Large urns were used as coffins for burial of the dead. There was also improvement in agriculture. Wheat, barley, rice, millet, all these were cultivated in different areas of different points of time. Rice cultivation was extensive in eastern India. Domestication of sheep, goats and cattle was widely prevalent. Cattle were used for cultivation and for transportation as well. The people of Neolithic age used clothes made of cotton and wool. Let's talk about Metal Age. The Neolithic period is followed by Chalcolithic period. When copper and bronze they came to be used, the new technology of smelting metal ore and crafting metal artifacts is an important development in human civilization. But the use of stone tools were not completely given up. Some of the microlithic tools continued to be essential items. People began to travel for a long distance to obtain metal ores. This led to a networking of chalcolithic cultures and chalcolithic cultures were found in many parts of India. Generally, Chalcolithic cultures had grown in river valleys. Most importantly, the Harappan culture is considered as a part of Chalcolithic culture. In South India, the river valley of the Godavari, Krishna, Tungbhadra, Pennar, Kaveri were settled by farming communities during this period. Although they were not using metals in the beginning of the Metal Age, there is evidence of copper and bronze artifacts by the end of 2nd millennium BC. Several bronze and copper objects, beads, terracotta figurines and pottery were found at Payampalli in Tamil Nadu. The Chalcolithic Age is followed by Iron Age. Iron is frequently referred to in the Vedas as well. The Iron Age of the Southern Peninsula is often referred to Megalith burials. The Megalith means large stone. The burial pits were covered with these stones. Such graves are extensively found in South India. Some of the important megalithic sites are Hallur and Maski in Karnataka, Nagarjun Konda in Andhra Pradesh and Adi Chennalur in Tamil Nadu. Black and red pottery iron artifacts such as hose and sickles and small weapons were found in the burial pits. Let's talk about Harappan civilization now because we have already covered Paleolithic, Mesolithic, Neolithic and Iron Age. Alright, let's talk about Harappan civilization. 